We have moved outside to talk about the marathon. And you know, people run the marathon for so many different reasons, and some people run it to benefit a worthy cause. And I'm joined by two people who are doing just that. Uh, I'm joined by Cole McFadden, who's running the marathon for young adult survivors, and also Paulson Damaski, the charity coordinator for Urban Impact Foundation. First off, thank you both for joining us here on a chilly morning. And Cole, I want to start with you. You're a student at Grove City, and you actually have a very personal reason for why you're running for the charity that you're running for. Tell us what, what, what happened. Yeah, so after I graduated high school, I had a, a tumor on my thyroid gland and had to go through a pretty invasive surgery. And throughout that whole time, I sort of struggled mentally. And I did some research and found uh, Young Adult Survivors United and saw that they help cancer survivors deal with their mental health challenges after cancer. And I mean, if I would have had that whenever I was going through it, it would have made the uh, time a lot easier. Yeah, I mean, I, I know we've talked before about how much good that organization does. You, in fact, have raised $3,000 for them already. You want to raise even more. How does it make you feel to be able to do this? I mean, it's fantastic. I, I sort of have a heart for serving others. and I'm just sort of happy I can serve them in this way because I firsthand know the struggles that they're going through. Absolutely. All right. Hey, and I want to mention this too. Speaking of money, we should say that this year's Run for a Reason charity program presented by Microsoft is expected to raise, and this is incredible, more than a million dollars for charities in our area. So now we're going to turn to Paulson here, and I want to ask you about Urban Impact Foundation. It helps young people on the north side, but you've actually been recruiting runners to help out in this, right? Yeah, we have uh, 75 runners right now that are going to be running on behalf of Urban Impact Foundation, which is right there across the river. So we have a lot of people doing a lot of good for the north side community. Yeah, in fact, it, it seemed like you were trying to recruit me earlier. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like I said, we're going to do a couple miles after this if you want to join us, Dave. All right, I'm not sure about that. We'll see. Uh, but you know what? This is your first half marathon, right? And the good news is you guys have a coach to help you through this, right? No, actually, we have three coaches. Okay. Um, yeah, We have uh, Coach Chris. He writes the training plans for us, teaches us things about how to buy the right kind of shoes and what nutrition to eat before and after race. Coach Audrey, she's a master fundraiser and the chef's. She makes a breakfast for us every Saturday, hot breakfast. Um, and then we have Coach Frank, who's a personal trainer, and he helps us um, try to understand like common running injuries and how to prevent them, and teaching us um, like stretching and training and things like that. So it's a well-rounded team that we've got. Happy. All really important stuff, really, whenever you're going to tackle something like this. I mean, how does it make you feel to, to know that, you know, as painful as each step might be for you to move forward, you're doing it for a reason? I think that's what makes it all worth it. Um, and we have people running. We have people walking. It's This is their 100th marathon or it's their first 5K. So um, sort, sort of that all-encompassing, um, it works for everybody because you have that community. Um, yeah, it's a really good program that PTR has put together for us. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, and 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 and, and once again, we want to wish you both luck. Uh, it's a wonderful thing that you're doing, and you're representing great organizations and doing some great work too. So, and I'll be right with you when the run starts after the show here. I'll, I'll come join you. Actually, probably not, but they they are set and ready to go. And you know, the date is coming up too. It's uh, coming up what May first. All right. We all have to get ready for this. Uh, it's coming up May 1st. And one more number to share. Since they started the Run for a Reason charity program that was back in 2009, listen to this. This is staggering. They have raised more than $14 million for charities all over to help other people. Mikey, I think it's a fantastic idea, and uh, we're happy to talk to these guys this yeah. morning. Yeah, David, what a big number for a tremendous cause. And I think you should lace up your running shoes. I think you could bring them home. <laughs> I don't know. They're going to leave me in the dust, I'm sure. They've been training. They're, they're looking good. You need confidence, David. You can do it. All right. Thanks, David. Yeah, he's great there. Doing great out there. All right, so there's still, still time to sign up for Run for a Reason charity program and the various marathon events. We have the links to both at Pittsburgh Today Live. Com. And our series on moving towards the marathon continues next Friday with another way you can get involved in one of Pittsburgh's biggest events.